in lane one, New Zealand. In lane two, Wim van Belligen of Belgium, last year's silver medalist. In lane three, John Murphy of Canada. Dr. Franz Goebel of Holland in lane four, the world champion. In lane five, Per Setestal from Norway. And in lane six, Niall O'Toole from Ireland. Dr. Goebel, a fantastic uh, sculler. He's stroking the men's lightweight quad as well in this regatta. Uh, that's right. He's a well-known reputation for being the original rowing and training nutcase. He works uh, something like 80 or 90 hours a week as a gynaecologist in Holland. Fits his training in around that, but uh, he's hardly ever seen off the lake. Um, he's been known to do uh, bursts alongside uh, semi-finals. When he's just finished his own race, he's been uh, run off the course by an umpire once for trying to race the semi-finalists in uh, another heat. And uh, really, he's the man they all want to beat. Going through the halfway point at the 1,000 metres, it's Dr. Goebel who is in front. Next to him is the Norwegian, Per Sederstahl, who came third at Lucerne earlier this year and is certainly a man well in contention. Closest to us, Neil O'Toole on lane six. He is the only Irishman here and he's done very well to get into this final. There were 22 entries in this lightweight sculling event. Very tough event. And these are the top six men. On the far side in the white and blue boat using a, a British Ailings made shell. Uh, he's been silver medalist uh, last year in this event. And certainly there's a great personal rivalry between uh, him and Goebbels. Uh, coming from uh, locally very close Belgium and Holland, uh, he feels that with Goebbels doubling up in the quadruple skulls this year, now's his opportunity to beat him. Van Belligan has also been a world champion in the past, hasn't he? That's right, a uh, world champion, and he comes to England a lot to train. He enjoys coming to Henley and training on the stretch of water there, so he's a great friend of all the English rowers, and a lot of uh, good wishes for him on this race. Well, these three scholars now, very much the dominant three, these are the ones who are fighting that out for the medals. And just watch how Van Bergen is now pushing past the Norwegian. He's pushing past the Norwegian, and he's giving chase to Goebel. Goebel has seen him. He's sitting up tall. And these two now really beginning to move for the line. O'Toole in sixth position at the moment. But Van Bergen, a really tough competitor. A half a length down on Goebel. And as they go through the 1,500-meter mark, 500 to go. Can Goebel hold on for his second successive title? The Norwegian has not been run out of it, but he's beginning to shorten up a little bit. The Irishman in fourth place, with Goebel stretching out. And just watch how his boat runs. Very nice, very under pressure. He really does manage to get his boat moving beautifully well. It's often the mark of uh, a great champion sculler, in particular, of how little effort it seems to take them to move the boat. And although they're working flat out, if you look at their faces and you look at their muscles, they're very relaxed, seemingly taking things easy while they're working flat out. And that's the, the trick, that's the technique of uh, top-class single sculling. No sudden movements, no bashing of the boat that somehow rowers can get away with. Everything's got to be smooth, easy and relaxed in this sport. And you're seeing one of the greatest exponents of the art there, Dr. Goebel from Holland. Van Belligan seemed to close up on him about uh, five or six hundred metres back, but Goebel has opened that out again now. He's taken back to about a length clear again, and Vim Van, Van Belligan is now really beginning to push it again. He's coming for a second time, but it really does seem that Goebel is in control of the race. The rate's gone up there. He's pushing that rate up now to 36, 37. He's having a fantastic final sprint, Van Belligan. Still going for him. That's a great, great push at the end there with just about 150 metres to go. As they come up to the line, he's still changing, still charging for him, and look at that last charge. It's brought them up to about a half a length, but Goebel just has enough, and he takes it by half a length, by just over a second, from Van Belligen. And coming in third is Per Sederstahl of Norway, Fourth, Canada, John Murphy, Des Healy, New Zealand in fifth, and Neil O'Toole from Ireland in sixth position. And a second successive victory for Dr. Goebel of Holland. So Holland in first place, Van Bergen, second, 
Silver medal again for the second year. Norway in third place. And O'Toole, the only Irishman here at these World Championships, in sixth place, 21 seconds behind the winners. And in the women's heavyweight quad...